Hey guys, this is Catherine, more art vlogging, and um, I thought it would be really cool if I pulled three random objects out of my art bucket container carrier, whatever, three random art supplies without looking and talk about them. And so in the next few videos, I'll pull more um, art supplies. So I've already pulled out my three for this week without looking and the first one I pulled out is this round brush. Great for painting with. Actually I haven't used this one. You can tell it's clean. So um, I didn't get it too long ago. I actually won this brush along with some others in my drawing class. My drawing instructor um, is a huge fan of 60's music. Um, and I, I like 60s music, but um, he's a really big fan, and he has what he calls rock and roll trivia, which is rock and roll from the 60s, we have to guess the artist of this song. And not all of it's rock and roll, he just calls it rock and roll trivia, but um, I want a set of brushes because I knew that Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons sang Big Girls Don't Cry, which is a great song, I recommend it, I recommend all Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons songs because they're great. So, um, but anyway, I won this brush. It's one of the ones I won. I haven't used it yet. It was just last Tuesday, I believe. And um, so, um, maybe I'll show you some paintings that I use this with. I don't know. It's a great brush. Great brush. It is four round. I really don't know what that means. Is that bad? Oh well. The next supply I pulled out is this sponge. I am in ceramics this semester, so it's not going well. But anyway, you need a sponge for ceramics because you want to collect excess water that forms in your cylinder bowl, what, what not, whatever uh, you're making. You want to collect the excess water out so it does not eat away at the pot and use it to clean up the wheel also. So. We don't even use these sponges. I bought it in a kit, but we use sponges we use are really like foam mattress pads that we've cut up because we use ones that are much bigger easier to hold but um this is one I already have and I kind of use it because I guess it's a little damp so I have used it so and the next um supply personal fave most uh people in my art class have told me every time they use this art project, this art supply, they think of me, and it is Mod Podge. I love Mod Podge. I love how it gives a clear coating, just a finish to everything. Um, Mod Podge is known as a puzzle saver. It's the thing that I guess you keep puzzles together with. Um, Water-based sealer, glue, and finish. I just, I put it on anything. I drew some sketches in a book, and I put Mod Podge over it because I wanted to. Uh, it can add texture if you'd like. I I did a peacock feather and I put Mod Podge over it and kind of like had grooves in it. And so it kind of gave a little texture to it. So I really love Mod Podge. I recommend it. They have Mod Podge that is shiny like this. And they have some that is... I can't think of the word. Not shiny? Dull? Anyway, so I, rec I like the shiny kind because I, I just like a sheer... A shiny, clear finish on certain stuff. And so, I love it. Much much. <laughs> so, um, that's my three random supplies for this video. Um, check out my other videos. Subscribe. Comment video response. I would love some feedback. Please send me some feedback. Um, and why don't um, whoever's watching do a video response. Pull three art supplies out. Talk about them. Or if you don't have any art supplies, maybe you're a math major, pull out pull out a calculator, some pencils and something. I don't know. Talk about what's going on in your life. Just pull three random objects that des describe something going on in your life and talk about it. And I can't wait to hear from y'all. Um, yeah, I said y'all. I'm from the South. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.